All right, here's my next project. Finish the Lion and Healy, finish the Kanjo, and uh, this is my next one. I picked it up at an auction in Missouri a few months ago, and it's just been set until I got around to it. And I uh, finally got some time to take a look at it, and I uh, picked up a new skin, new set of strings, um, and I think I've got a bridge that'll work with it. If not, I'll pick a bridge up. But it's pretty complete other than that. It's got 38 hooks, and all, amazingly on this one, all the shoes, hooks, and nuts are all there and match. Um, and the, it looks like the hooks and the uh, flesh ring, or the uh, little tension ring here, were just uh, steel and have rusted over time. The plating's come off and they have rusted. The hooks, shoes, and rim appear to be nickel plated uh, or some type of plating. So I think they will clean up pretty good. They're just uh, corroded. And uh, it appears to have the original tail piece. Um, I know I've seen some of these with a patent date on them. Um, a pretty early patent date, like 1880s, or early 1890s. I think it was actually early 1880s. Um, this one, I'm not seeing that um, patent date on it, the, this type with the star and all. Um, the neck, I believe, and I may be wrong, I call a lot of stuff a buckbee that probably isn't, but the, to me it looks like a buckbee. Um, if you have other thoughts on that, let me know, but, uh, it's curious, it's got a lot of fret wear here. Um, I think it's still gonna be plenty playable. Um, one interesting thing though is these first one, two, three, four, five, six frets are flush. And at first I just thought they were really badly worn until I got to looking at them and they're, they're flush all the way across, not just at the strings. So I don't think it was from wear. It was either originally uh, flush like that or they've been filed down. So, which I'm not sure. Um, apparently they did make some like this. Uh, a lot of times with wood frets that were flush. But I have read some people that read about uh, people that said they had some metal ones. So, this will be an interesting one to play with the uh, basically almost being fretless. So, um, all the tuners are there. The nuts are there. Appear to be uh, like they're going to be usable. And uh, the fistering that's actually a screw, I believe. Um, it's a little cracked around it, but I think it should be fine. So I'm just going to give it a good cleaning. Uh, I'm going to start out by removing all these hooks and nuts uh, and this rim. All the steel parts that are rusted, I'm going to actually use electrolysis on. I'll show you that process. And, uh, and then I'm just going to polish them really good. I don't think... Uh, I don't know. I'll see how the rest of it cleans up um, and see if it'd be worth either finding new ones or uh, replating these. But I think I'm just going to see if after the electrolysis and polishing what they're going to look like. So anyway, um, another interesting fact about this banjo. Um, at the auction, I met a gentleman that said he, uh, his uncle, I believe, was the original owner of this. Um, and he is supposed to get me some more information on it, but it came from, um, or he lived in Missouri, uh, for a while at least. I think he came from Kentucky. I looked him up on the internet. Um, so the rest of the neck's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got some wear and all, but it's not cracked or warped or, um, anything. So I think it's going to be a pretty easy project. And, uh, yeah, that gentleman, he's going to, See if you can send me some more information about the original owner and stuff like that. So it'll be neat if he does. So anyway, here it is. And uh, I'll uh, show you as we go along. All right, uh, got the banjo stripped down, all the hooks and nuts off of it. And I'm uh, going to use electrolysis to clean these hooks. They are really, really rusty. And that has caused a huge problem with dielectric corrosion between those and the hook, the uh, shoes and nuts. Um, so it's going to take quite a bit of polishing to get all the corrosion off of the brass parts and hopefully have some plating left. And uh, so we're just going to do this with the uh, rusty parts. And then I'm going to try to polish them out as best I can. So uh, 
I'll show you here when I get them in the tank. But basically, uh, if you haven't used one of these before, just uh, I'm not going to. There's so many good videos on how to set these up. Uh, just get on YouTube and look up uh, electrolysis tanks. Um, but I've used them before for cleaning stainless or uh, cast iron and uh, some stuff, and it works extremely well. So um, got these hooks just tied with a uh, steel wire, and I'll show you once I get them in the tank what it looks like. All right, got it going here, got it cooking, and you can see right away it's just blasting them. So uh, I will show you tomorrow. I'm going to leave these overnight and uh, show you tomorrow what they uh, how they come out. All right, well, here's the results I'm getting so far. Um, two items on the left are brass. I'm just polishing with some wet, really fine steel wool. Um, you can see on the right is what I'm starting with. Just really corroded, dirty, nasty. And uh, here's how they're coming out. So um, I'm just polishing until I get the corrosion off and then stopping because I'm so I'm not taking any more plating off than I uh, have to. But you can tell with these steel, a lot of these uh, ones I've done, banjos, if they have brass hooks, you don't get this problem. Um, but with these steel hooks, you get that dielectric process going on. If you know anything about plumbing or uh, that chemical process between dissimilar metals, um, it causes some problems over time. Because once the plating is gone on these, um, that corrosion starts taking effect and uh, it's just eating them up. So... Um, really pleased with the results coming from this to this and what I'm doing is fairly labor not very labor intensive um, the coming out of the dia the uh, electrolysis bath removes all the rust uh, but then they have a dark uh, tint to the metal and then just touching them a little bit to a polishing wheel shines them back up same thing with the screws so Going from this nasty rusted screw to this, um, I mean, these literally took me like just two or three minutes taking them out of the dielectric bath and uh, hitting them on a polishing wheel. So, I mean, they almost look like new. And in fact, I almost didn't polish them as much as I could. There's still a few tiny little pits along there that could probably be polished out, but uh, the rest of the banjo, um, it almost looked weird if I go uh, too clean and shiny with them. So, uh, so with the uh, little bit of, uh, with that dielectric, it's eating some plating off. Uh, so I'm getting some brass showing through. Um, but it's just, it's already gone even before um, cleaning it with the uh, steel wool. Because you can see the green coming through on some of these. And that's where the brass uh, is tarnishing where the plating's gone. So pretty happy with that. think it's going to come out good. I'll uh, show you progress as I go here.